Hi, my name is Katie Green and this is my first beauty YouTube video. I've appeared in my boyfriend's videos before barely, but not that much. This is my first channel. Um, I'm not going to do a super huge introduction or anything to my channel because I don't totally know what it's going to be. Um, but I wanted to start my first video off as um, is doing my palette collection video. This is not a declutter. Um, it's just a collection video because I only have 22 palettes, which is a lot for a normal, you know, makeup user. Like that's a lot. But as far as someone who watches like a lot of YouTube beauty videos, um, it's not like, you know, a ton, but yeah, I thought it was substantial enough to show you guys. And I thought it was a good foray into YouTube. Um, yeah, I really love watching um, palette collection and declutter videos. I never really get tired of them. If you do, then I don't know, maybe this isn't the video for you, but if you're really into these types of videos, then just keep on watching. Um, okay, I'm gonna go into my first palette. Um, I'm just gonna pick a random one up. So this is my Violet Voss, the rainbow eyeshadow palette. Um, it looks like this. Um, it's kind of one of those stereotypical um, palettes. I know a lot of people are really done with colorful palettes that are rainbow palettes, and this is literally kind of the definition of that, but I was really drawn into getting this palette. Um, it was $30, which I know is kind of a lot for how many shades, but like these pan sizes are just like huge, you know? Um, and I love the formula on these. They're like so thick and, um, there's shimmers, but you can also kind of work them into, you know, into the crease and stuff. And um, probably my favorite color in here is this yellow buttercup, which you can kind of use as like a gold, you know, if you want to do like a really, like a neutral, but like a dramatic neutral, you could do like a brown in the crease and then put this on the lid. I really like that. Um, but there's a lot of other really fun colors here, like sea foam and Fiji um, and flamingo. I've actually never dipped into Royal. I should, you know? I guess I get kind of scared of the really like dark, dark colors um, that are colorful. But um, yeah, I think it's really enjoyable. Um, if you're looking for like more a more colorful palette. Okay, the next one. And also like these, uh, palette, these palettes aren't really gonna be in any particular order. I wanted to keep it kind of random to keep it interesting, um, so you never really know what I'm gonna pull out. Um, so this is my Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette. It's very dirty. Um, Anastasia Beverly Hills has very notoriously packaging that gets pretty dirty, so I apologize for that. Um, so this is, is, I've used it quite a bit, which is good, you know, you, sh you should use your palettes up. Um, they don't have to look spotless. Um, also, sorry, this is going to be kind of a mini review of it, this, of some of these. This is how I kind of personally feel about them. Um, I really enjoy this palette, but at the same time, I feel like I end up creating a lot of the same looks. Um, I use a lot of, like, I use Parallel a lot, Unity, Eden, Saturn, and then I'll use In the Crease, and then... I love Pyramid. Pyramid's beautiful, Eternal's beautiful, and Sphinx's. Um, but a lot of the more crazier ones just don't look great, I don't know, on me for some reason. Um, especially like Osiris and Throne. I have a really hard time on. They just look so dark on me. Maybe I need to try it again, but I just tend to, when I get this palette, to just automatically go and dip into these because I really enjoy these. Okay. Okay, so this one's kind of dirty because I've used it a bunch. Um, also, FYI, I haven't really been collecting palettes for that long. Only about, um, like, less than two years. That's probably why I only have, like, 22 palettes, you know? Um, yeah, this is one of the first ones I bought. It's pretty cheap if you guys have ever bought it from BH Cosmetics before. This is the Galaxy Chic palette. Um, it's, like, a shimmer baked eyeshadow palette. Um, yeah, I really enjoy this. I'm not as into it as I was before. I used to, when I did eyeshadow, um, be into, um, 
only like shimmers i wasn't really into mattes because i was i mostly would just do one color on my lid and if you're just doing one color on your lid you're kind of more interested in just like doing a shimmer you know like a quick shimmer um but this is still really fun to pair with mattes now that i'm more into it um i'm just like not anymore into all shimmer palettes like when i buy palettes i really look for um a combination of mattes and shimmers um, so I don't, you know, I still use it, but, you know, also another thing I was going to say about my palette collection, um, you hear a lot of people say, um, with their palettes, oh, I don't really reach for that, you know, I don't reach for it. Um, I actually, I feel like I'm a unique scent a little bit in the sense that, um, I switch out my palettes I use a lot, um, like I switch them in order of what if I use the least so I'm constantly I rotate them so then I'm always using so even if I'm not like that excited to use a palette I still kind of force myself to because I feel like it forces me to be creative and then also use what I have but yeah it's decent I really like these colors um the purples and the the greens um these are also really nice for more like neutral looks okay let's move on Okay, this is the ColourPop Golden State of Mind palette. Um, it came out kind of like during the holidays last year. Um, a lot of people aren't like thrilled with this palette, which I can kind of understand. Um, it's an all shimmer palette too, like I was just saying I'm not super into and a lot of people aren't these days. Um, but I still really enjoy it. Like I feel like there's a lot of really unique um, shades of gold in here. This is probably, like, these are my favorite. These are just so pretty with, like, a brown, um, like, in the crease. Um, but then even the, this is cute, you know. Um, yeah, like, I feel like if you're really into golds, like, this is a really cute palette. Okay, here is another ColourPop palette. This is ColourPop's very first palette they ever created. Um, it's actually not called Cute AF. Um, it's called the Yes Please palette. Um, and a lot of people I see um, depot this palette a lot um, because it gets so dirty with the packaging, which is um, totally understandable. Like mine's really dirty right now. Um, but this is honestly, like this is just a beautiful palette. Like if you want like a sunset palette, this is just great. And it's so cheap. Like um, I want to say it's like, like under 20 like 16 bucks or something um and it's it's a lot of people say it's a really decent dupe for the natasha denona sunset palette um and yeah because you can create kind of the same looks this color right here oh it's called um yeah butter cake it's so beautiful every time i use this palette i'm so tempted to use this shade every single time i'm like okay katie you need to use other shades but i just love this one um but yeah, super beautiful palette. Okay. Um, this is the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes palette. Um, this one's definitely special because my boyfriend bought it for me for Valentine's Day, I believe. It was last Valentine's Day. Um, and it's an all matte palette. God, this mirror is so dirty. Um, yeah, I really, really enjoy this. The quality is great. Um, the only one that I've noticed is a little bit patchier is like these, this like darker shade here, but otherwise, um, these other shades are beautiful. I love like this one and Peach Cobbler. I oftentimes pair this palette with the Golden State of Mind palette. Um, like especially this Peach Cobbler shade, they, I just get such pretty looks from it. Um, but then obviously you can do peachy looks from it like um which peach punch is beautiful and just peachy and peach sangria um yeah i i especially am liking all matte palettes more than all shimmers lately um so yeah this is just so versatile and i remember i just lusted over this palette like it's kind of expensive it's like 42 45 you know um but it's really i just love the color story on it and it's a really nice all matte palette um, which Too Faced formula can be kind of dodgy, but, um, I think this is pretty nice. Okay, I have the, this is really new to my collection. I got it, like, just, like, a month ago. This is the Huda Beauty Amethyst Obsessions palette. 
But yeah, I don't really have like a detailed opinion of it yet, but so far I really, really like it. Um, it's a really good combination. Well, there could be like one more matte in here, but like these are so, they go with everything. Like you could just create such beautiful purple eyeshadow is that and gold eyeshadow were like my, those are my favorite colors to do. Um, so when I saw this, I had to get it. Like I really wanted the blue and green Obsessions one. Um, but this one called me, so this is the first in the mini Huda Bahalids, um I own. Okay. Okay, and I have the Urban Decay um, Naked Heat Palette. Looks like this. Um, I feel like everyone loved this palette when it first came out and everyone wanted it, you know? Um, but over time, people have been less enthused about it, you know? Um, and I like it, like the quality is really, really nice, but I have a kind of similar opinion that a lot of people do where you get kind of the same looks with this, but for like an October, November palette, it's, even though I'm not really into like seasonal looks, cause I kind of into doing whatever colors you want to do throughout the season, it, it'll look cool, you know, but these are definitely like nice fall colors, even though this was marketed as kind of like a summer palette, you know? Like the heat, you know? But yeah, you get kind of similar looks, but yeah, the quality is really, really nice. I really like um, Lumbre, Lumber. I mean, yeah, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, heat Devil and Dirty Hawk. Um, these are, those are just like beautiful. Okay. Also, I have a lot of colored pop palettes. Like they are like, they're like one of my favorite eyeshadow formulas. And they're so inexpensive that I get sucked into buying them a lot. Like, I'd be happy if I bought, like, almost every ColourPop palette that came out. Um, this is the Femme Rosa palette from Karusha. Karusha? I'd have to look up how to pronounce her name. Um, in ColourPop, the She palette. Um, and, wow, it's a really stunning palette. Like, I really enjoy it. Um, these, like, rosier, pinky, reds, and even, like, these oranges. Oh, it just goes together so nice. Um... This is my favorite shade right there. Um, what is it called again? Um, Gal. This is Gal and it's like, oh, it's such a, such a beautiful like shimmer, you know? Um, this is kind of one of those like with the Yes Please Butter Cake one. I, every time I use this one, like I use this palette, um, I want to use this shade. Um, this one's beautiful too. This one is um, Chick. <laughs> There's all kind of like girly names. I like, like Ed Empress and um, Damsel and Missy, um, they discontinued this palette for a while, um, but I'm glad they brought it back because I, this is probably one of the best palettes ColourPop has done so far. And, shocker, another ColourPop palette. This is the Ooh La La palette. I think it was like literally like 12 bucks or something. Like it's so freaking cheap for what you're getting. And, oh. It's just so stunning. Um, a lot of people aren't really into like pink eyeshadow, but I really like it. Um, these are just like stunning shades and you have some purple. I've only dipped into this like a few times because it's so, you know, new to me. Um, but, oh, I just love this palette. Like even this one, I was like, oh, I wonder if this is going to be very like pigmented, you know, and I put it on and I was like, wow. It's like everything is just stunning in here so far. Um, I highly suggest this if you're into pink or purple eyeshadow or want to get into it. Such a great deal. And it comes with a mirror, too. Okay, this is the most expensive eyeshadow palette I have. And also, um, my, like, least favorite. Um, so this is the Pat McGrath. Um, I'm gonna edit this video and insert probably, like, in titles, um, what this is called again. It's one of the Mothership palettes. Um, actually, let me see. Of course, it doesn't fucking say. Okay. But yeah, this is one of the, um, the Mothership palettes. Um, and it looks like this. Sorry, it's a little dirty. I actually didn't buy it with my own money. My mom bought this. Um, she wanted to get like a bougie palette. And I remember she told me, she was like, oh, I ordered um, this like really expensive palette. And I was like, did you get like a Natasha Denona? She's like, no, I got a Pat McGrath. And I was like, oh, well, Pat McGrath is supposed to be like so wonderful. You know, it's like just so raved about on YouTube. Um, 
So I was like, yeah, you can't go wrong. And then she was telling me, she was like, you know, I really am not liking this palette. And I was like, really? Um, so I tried it for myself and I was like, yeah, I, I see what you mean. <laughs> So these four shimmers are gorgeous. Like they're really, really nice, especially this gold and purple, like just stunning. But the mattes in here are just terrible. Like they're not very pigmented and they're like really muddy. Um, I don't know if I should do a swatch because I think the swatches are fine, honestly. It's just like when you put them on your eyes, I just remember it just was not good. Like it doesn't look too bad as a swatch, you know? But, yeah, like, these shades right here were just trash, and, yeah, like, you should not be paying, like, $125 for a couple shades that are good. Like, these mattes should be outstanding, you know? Um, so, yeah, I was really disappointed with this, but I do have another Pat McGrath palette that I love and I get the hype for. So, I don't know, maybe this one's a dud. Um, I should watch more reviews on this specific palette and see... Um, if anyone has similar thoughts to this, or maybe me and my mom are crazy, or this is a dud, not sure. This is another ColourPop palette. This is in collaboration with Kathleen Lights. Um, Kathleen is honestly, like, she's probably my favorite beauty YouTuber. Um, I just love her. Um, her and Tati are, like, really up there. Um, so this is her Zodiac palette she did pretty recently. Um, it looks like this, if you haven't seen it before. Um, a lot of people gave her flack for being like, oh, this is kind of like, I don't understand the colors in here, like, or this is a neutral palette with a couple hops of color. But I really get this and connect to it. Like, I don't want to say I'm like hyper into astrology. Obviously, I'm like skeptical of it. But I used to be really into it. And I still like it now. Um, and I really loved her reveal video. I'm um, talking about this palette. She explains the colors and stuff so well. And... I love how passionate it was about it. Like this was not just like randomly thrown together. I felt like she created this really, really nicely. Um, I especially, I'm an Aquarius just like her and I love this uh, matte cobalt blue. Um, it's just gorgeous. Um, all of these are really good. Like these, this can be used as a highlighter. I love this Gemini color. Like you can do neutral looks with it but also do really crazy looks. Um, it also, um, one moment. Um, this is also meant to be paired with um, her Dream Street palette that she had released like a year or so before. Um, you can definitely kind of combine the colors together because it's very similar to this where it has neutral, but it also has, um, crazy pops of color and stuff. Um, so yeah, I think this is a great palette. And I know, you know, both different opinions, but I personally think she did a really good job with this. Um, so while we're on the topic of Kathleen, let's go to this palette. Um, this is what I did on my eyes today. Um, I used the shade in the shade, which is the colors are Water Bear and Sweet Dreams. Um, and I really like how it turned out. It ended up looking very, um, this these colors combined together, the look I created really reminds me of the new um, Natasha Denona Gold palette. So I was pretty hyped with that because I've been really wanting that, you know? But that's expensive, so I'll probably not get it. But um, yeah, I love this palette. Um, I tend to do more neutral looks with it. Today was kind of, um, an exception um but yeah i think it's just a beautiful palette all the colors are just super nice and really pigmented like um this and the zodiac are probably some of my favorite color pop palettes um even without it just being a kathleen lights palette okay we still have a few more left um so i have the urban decay distortion palette um, really cool packaging um, and it looks like this inside um, yeah and my boyfriend got this for me for Christmas I believe um, and it was really cool I was really excited that he got me this because um, it wasn't on my list or anything um, but he just kind of got it himself so 
I, I love that he just went in and picked it out, you know? Um, and this was one of those palettes that like, when I first saw it, I wasn't like super into it. I was like, oh, it's okay. But getting it, it's a lot more stunning in person. Um, like these look very like white online, but like they're really like this beautiful iridescent. Um, so I often combine these together, like do a pink look, purple look, blue. Um, and yeah, and also this is really great for like, I didn't mean to flip you off, sorry. Um, like these is great for like a smoky gray look. Um, these are also really nice. Um, yeah, it's actually, I think it's still discounted right now on Sephora.com, maybe, or, um, maybe Ulta for like 20 something. And if you have like your eyes on this, like I would recommend it. It's, it's a really cool color palette. Um, it's definitely not just like a rainbow palette. Like I think it's unique. Um, but yeah, this was kind of a nice surprise. God, I have so many color pop palettes. I'm such a color pop whore. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> So this is the semi-precious palette. Um, this one's decent. It's not bad. Um, the quality is really good. It's just like not very exciting, you know? I'm not usually like excited to use it, but I often find myself using this palette when I'm in a rush. Like I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna be late for work or school or something. Um, I'll just dip into these really quickly um, and just do like a one color thing and the pigmentation is really nice, like they're shimmers, but the pigmentation is really nice. Um, this is my favorite color in here. It's called Celestial. Let's do a swatch. I said I wasn't going to do too many swatches, but we're going to do one anyway. Yeah, it's, oh, that's so pretty. Like, I just love the formula on me. So, um, like, I think there's other color pop, color pop palettes that are better. But if you are kind of looking for something that's just going to be like quick, like when you want to get out the door really quick, this is really nice. Oh, I have it all over my hand. Okay, um, this is the Urban Decay Naked Free Palette. It came out kind of a while ago. This is probably one of the, mo the more older palettes I own. I got it when, you know, the hype was worn down. Um, this is probably like my first like bougie palette I've bought in. Um, I remember I wanted to get like a palette. And I went into Sephora and I was like, oh, I know the Naked palettes are supposed to be pretty good. So, um, you know, I saw the Naked 1, I saw the Naked 2, and I'm like, they're okay. But I really liked how this was neutral, but like, it was like neutral with a twist. Like, you obviously have these rose gold colors. A lot of people don't love this palette, and I can kind of understand that, but I really enjoy it. Um, if you're into like kind of rose goldy neutral looks, this is just beautiful. Um... You know it's like expensive it's like 40 or 45 you know but um i still think it's really beautiful if you want to splurge um my only complaint is i wish um there was more mattes in here because we really only have this and this um well, i guess this too but um i'm not usually i'm not a, as big of a fan of these grays but i use like these colors like a lot um yeah i still really enjoy it Okay, I know I said the Semi Precious was one of my least favorite, but this is kind of, I really, I don't hate any of my palettes, I don't. Like, if I really hated them, I wouldn't hold on to them. Um, but this just is one of those that doesn't excite me anymore. Um, if I was doing a declutter, this would be like the first to go. Uh, my mom bought it, and she was kind of not as into it anymore, so she gave it to me. But yeah, it's definitely one of those that like I'll use if I'm in a rush and throwing it on. Um, this color is really beautiful. Um, they don't have names. Um, I kind of want to name them myself. Like this one, I kind of want to name like Starfish. I don't, I don't know why. Um, yeah, hold on. Let's see. It's going to be kind of weird on my hands. Uh, I feel like that's not going to show up on camera very well. But yeah, I, I really like that shade. I love the golds. Um, purples are okay. I really mostly just like these colors, but yeah, it's an okay palette. I wouldn't really recommend it, but it's not bad either. This is the Pat McGrath palette I was telling you about um, that I love. This is the Lobby and Rose palette. I bought this with my own money. It was 55, which is, it's a lot for only six shades, but um, I don't know. I'm not gonna say it's worth it, but 
I, I felt I felt good about purchasing this after I tried it. Um, beautiful packaging, by the way, really cool. Um, I kept this in so I could remember the shade names. Um, yeah, like if you're someone like me who loves, loves color, um, loves purples and pinks and golds, this is so perfect. Um, I remember this is one of those that like when it came out I was like I have to have this like normally I'm pretty good about like waiting it out you know until I actually have the money um, but this is one of those that like when I had some extra money for around I was like oh well, I want this um this is just so beautiful I love all the shades this is this shade paranormal it's okay but these are so great and like god like if you're someone who hates fallout, like you hate having any kind of fallout at all, this is perfect. This gives you like no fallout. It just coats your brush like so easily without like Fix Plus or anything like that. Um, yeah, I always really love the looks I create with this. It's just, it's gorgeous. It's one of my favorite palettes. So this is a more expensive palette, but my mom bought it for me for Christmas. This is the Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette. Beautiful packaging. Um, this is what it looks like inside. Um, yeah, I really like this palette. Um, I, I don't love the mattes as much as I would like to, I would say, but the shimmers are really, really nice. Um, like I love the shade Twilight and Blood Moon and Turkish Delight, um, and Celestial and Retrograde. Those are really nice. I don't really think this is worth $65, to be honest. Um, but um, I still really, I, I like it a lot. Um, it's a beautiful color story. I'm just, I'm not as into it as I used to, but it's nice, you know. But you can definitely, like, dupe these shades, you know. All right. So this is my, um, this is also really newer to my collection. I got it just like a couple months ago. Um, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette. Kept it in the packaging so it wouldn't get as dirty as my prison palette. Looks like this. Really cute packaging. Um, it looks like this inside. Oh, I just love this palette. This is also one of those that like when it came out, I was like, I gotta have this. Cause I love, you know, like I said, purples, pinks, and golds. Um, but yeah, um, I've, you know, I haven't dipped into this tons yet, but so far I really, really like this. A lot of people were saying, oh, this is just like subculture, like it's just, the fallout is bad. Like there's some fallout, but it's not a huge deal because the shades are so pigmented. This, this shade right here, Soul, is just, it's fucking gorgeous. I love this. Um, Wild Child, um, Summer, and Rose Gold, and Love, and Celeste, oh, they're all just really good. Um, like, a lot of people were complaining, saying, oh, this isn't a purple palette. There's only a couple of purples in there. But, um, I don't know. Like, I know it was kind of, like, advertised as a purple palette. But, like, to me, I'm not going to complain. Because these colors go together so flippin' well. Like, you could do so many looks with this that I, w I was really personally happy with this. Um, and yeah, if you're someone like me who really likes this color scheme, like, I recommend getting it. Like, it's kind of expensive, it's 42, but if you really want it, like, I'd recommend it. Okay, down to like, what, the last two? Okay, I'm gonna bring out um, the palettes I bought the most recently. Um, I got these at Ulta, like, a, a couple days ago. Um, I got the... This obviously is not a new palette, but it's new to me. Um, this is the, it's my Ray Ray um, BH Cosmetics collection. Um, it comes with, oh, this is dusty. Sorry, I used the highlighter today, so it's really dirty. <sighs> okay. Um, yeah, it's a highlighter and contour palette. I haven't used the contour shades yet. I'm really excited. Obviously, this could be too dark for me, but I'm excited to like use these. Um, I really liked this highlight I used today. It's really nice and I've been using this a lot for an eyebrow um, highlight. Um, this could be too dark for me, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, it's I think it's cute. Um, but yeah, let's go to the eyeshadow collection. Um, now, this is a color scheme I wouldn't like normally lean towards, but this had such like good reviews, you know, and I'd heard so many good things about it. And you know, it's such a good bargain. It's like, um, I want to say this is like 22 
for this whole thing and I think that's a really good price um so I had to get it I've only used it once I've used these two shades and I was really I loved like the matte in here um and this was really different for me because I've never used BH Cosmetics um, mask before. I've only used their baked formula. So I was really nervous dipping my brush in here. Like, what's this going to be like? Um, but I was really pleasantly surprised how pigmented this was. So I'm going to see how the other shades are, but I, I'm liking it so far. So I got my last palette here. This is the... Um, Makeup Revolution um, Sophie X um, Extra Spice Palette. Or is it Sofax? I actually have never washed her before. I should though. Um, literally, like, if a palette collaboration looks cool, like I like the color schemes, it doesn't even matter to me if I watch the person. I'll just be like, yeah, I'll buy it, you know? Um, I don't love the packaging on it because it gets super dirty. Like, I've barely had this and kept it this packaging and look, it already has like fingerprints. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I don't love that. Um, and this is also my first Makeup Revolution palette. I've always been kind of weary of buying from them because, um, I don't know, they just always seem really cheap to me. And um, I didn't like how they like have knocked off a lot of other brands' ideas with like the chocolate bar palettes and stuff. Um, but yeah, I went ahead and bought this because I love the color story and it was only 15 bucks and I saw it at Ulta and I was like, yeah, why not? Let's try it out. Um, so it looks like this if you haven't seen it yet. I love the color story. It's really cute. Like I love this red shade and this orange shade called Sweet and Sour, which is so, super cute. Um, I love how this one's called Cookie Dough. And um, I've only used this once since I just got it a couple days ago. Um, I used the shade Mold Wine and Dreams. Um, I was really impressed with this matte shade, um, this Mold Wine. Um, it was super pigmented and really well and easy to blend. I was really impressed, especially since it's a purple, you know? Purples are, you know, notoriously hard to formulate. Um, you know, I really like, I liked this, but um, my only gripe with it is it's very similar to the Anastasia shimmer shades, where I feel like you really have to like dig in there to get the, um, the shimmer out. I prefer like thicker shimmer formulas, but once you finesse it and put it on, it looks beautiful, you know? It's just one of those things you have to work a little harder to do. Um, yeah. Okay, guys, that about wraps up my video. Um, thanks for watching. If you made it to the end or you skipped it around, that's okay. Um, yeah, this was fun to film. Um, I hope to put out more videos. Um, I'm going to try to film every chance I get. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching. See you later. Bye.